All right, good morning, everybody. Thanks so much uh, for coming out. We've had an incredible summer of summer works, especially when you think how we started this seven years ago, uh, to go from, well, the, the story was, is we took office in 2011. We were still in the Great Recession as a country. The federal government said we're no longer going to be funding summer job programs for the youth. And so we had a moment of truth. Uh, but I said, look, that first summer experience is too valuable. And I don't know how everybody in this room feels when they got that first paycheck uh, when they were a teenager. But for me, it felt good. And I wanted to make sure that as many of our youth in our city could have that same paycheck. So we started that first summer of 2011. We had 200 jobs for summer youth in 2011. I'm happy to announce that we just closed the 2018 version of SummerWorks, and we had not 200, but 6,200 youth employed in our city this summer. <laughs> really good. So that's a lot of great progress I want to thank a lot of people for today, and we want to keep that going as well. That number of 6,200 includes 1,004 young people employed by companies and organizations that directly team with Kentuckiana Works and Youth Build to provide more extensive career guidance and support. So that's a great service there. So when we look about continuing this greater pipeline of young talent, uh, we all know the more we do to prepare, to nurture, and train these young people, the better position they are to help themselves and help our city also with our economic development momentum that we've got going on. So every way that we can line in with these folks, we will do it. We started SummerWorks in 2011 because we recognize that not all of the young people in our community have the support, resources, and connections that they need to get a summer job. So we want to make sure that everybody didn't need that connection from a mom or dad or aunt or uncle, that we as the city could step up and provide that connection and that has happened in an incredible way in partnership with our businesses here. Obviously, when you keep people busy, that's a good thing, no matter what. Not just for lifelong learning, but for our public safety strategy as well. What we hear time and time again, if a young person doesn't have anything to do, we all know we were young people at one point in time, we find stuff to do. And sometimes those things we find to do uh, aren't when our best decisions are being made. So SummerWorks provides opportunities that literally are altering a young person's lives. I've heard from hundreds of our youth that have been in summer works that have told me how it has changed what they're going to study, what they're going to major in, what they think about their future, about where they can fit in a workforce. So this experience during the summer is critically important to the strategy of our city. Uh, in addition to that, a recent study from the Brookings Institution found that youth with summer jobs had 35 percent fewer chargers for violent crimes and 57% fewer charges for property crimes. So when you think about this as a peace building initiative for our city, it's a very good thing as well. And then research by the Kentucky Center for Education and Workforce Statistics shows summer works youth are much more likely to remain in the workforce and go on to college. So that means investing in a summer jobs program is just a win all around for our community. And that's why we're really enthused to see this program growing, this initiative growing every year. We're working with businesses, large and small, in every type of industry, including some new employers this year. The Dine Company came on board. Hilliard Lions came on board with a dynamic new program. HJI Supply Chain Solutions, Kentuckiana Comfort Center, i the Louisville Bats Spectrum, and Storywood Bowties. The goal is for 2019 is we want every company in our city to hire a summer works employee. And look, these young folks do work, and they also help your company too by raising awareness about the youth in our community. Some of our key employer partner companies increased their direct hiring of summer works youth over last year. Some of our big companies have really stepped up GE Appliances, Humana, where we're at today, and you'll be hearing from in a second. Uh, Kentucky Kingdom hires hundreds of our summer youth, summer works youth. Kindred Healthcare, and then UPS. So I really want to thank all them for getting on board these past several years. These and other private sector employees gave their summer works employees valuable work experience in hospitals and restaurants, here at Humana, in banks and investment firms, manufacturing assembly lines, grocery checkout lanes, assisting companies with IT and human resource needs, and then shipping packages around the world as well. 
But to grow this initiative to where it needs to be, one of our top goals for 2019 is to increase the number of private sector employers hiring summer works youth. So when you think about that as a challenge, to hire summer, uh, a person for summer works is about $2,500 for a summer. So you're getting work for that $2,500, and then you're also being able to mentor a youth, and then your company's also going to learn about some of the challenges that our youth face in today's world, and then also are you marketing and selling your products to that youth audience. So the benefits really work both ways, and Humana, a, a homegrown Fortune 200 company, knows that, and that's why they've upped their hiring. Humana started two, three years ago? Three years ago, and now has 52 SummerWorks youth this summer. So it's been a great, a great commitment, and it's really exciting to see the youth with their families when they come together for orientation and celebration and see kind of that gleam in the eyes of our SummerWorks youth to say, I'm working at Humana. It's hard to believe. Roger Cood, please come on up here and give us some news. Good news. Robert, Roger Cood with Humana. Thank you. As Mayor Fisher said, I'm Roger Cude with Humana, and on behalf of Humana, I want to welcome everyone here today to our Digital Experience Center, and it's a, a showcase, but also a, a working center. So we're in one half of the, the center, and we have a lot of our programmers and our software engineers uh, working uh, very diligently in the other side of the, uh, the space. I want to thank Mayor Fisher, first and foremost, for his vision and his sponsorship of this program. As he mentioned, we started three years ago with about 15 Summer Works interns, and we're over 50 now, and have seen the increase, uh, partly because of the uh, students who wanted to come into the program, but it's been largely driven by the managers who saw the quality of the interns that we hired and said, I want more sign me up for next summer. So it has gained a lot of momentum within Humana, and I want to thank our Humana team who supports that. And I also want to thank the part, uh, Michael Gritton and his team at Kentuckiana Works for their partnership. But most importantly, I want to thank the Summer Works interns that came to work for us this past summer. Uh, we had uh, 52, as Mayor Fisher said, in 16 areas of our business. So we had them spread out throughout the entire parts of our business, including uh, almost half were in our information technology function, uh, doing work in our IT group. They did things like worked with our MBA interns. We bring in MBAs every summer, and they worked side by side with our MBA interns on an inclusion and diversity study that we have uh, going on at uh, Humana. They were assisting with our Watson. Uh, we have uh, IBM Watson as a as a tool inside the company for some of our programs and some of our interns were helping program the IBM Watson uh, system for us here at Humana. And we also had uh, many working in data, data center technologies, programming, and applications development. So it was a great summer and it doesn't seem that long ago where we were having the career fair where we brought the, the candidates in and we had many tables set up to say what are you interested in and we matched them with the 16 areas of the business that they were interested in and got the offer and then came to work for us. So it's great to see this uh, come to a close for the summer and a great to, to hear about the experiences that I know we'll now hear from the uh, Summer Works interns from many companies about their experiences and that's the really important part. So thank you very much. I want to thank Roger and everybody here at Humana. Uh, Roger, the way that you've involved yourself with our city's workforce needs and have been all in has made a huge difference. So thank you very much for stepping up. Let's see an example of that right now. Tiandre Blinko worked at Humana's IT service desk this summer, and he looks like he's got something to say. <laughs> Come on, Tiandre. Um. Um, I've worked for Humana for about two years during the summer now. Um, I just finished my second year. It was a really nice experience for me to get to know the, um, the ways of business, the way a big company actually works, being around people that I probably won't really understand, but it was really nice to see how the workflow of um, um, a business works with different attributes for different people, helping the community, people around us. Um, 
I worked in IT, so I was working with the technological, like technological pieces of the branches that make up this company. So um, usually user friendly things, um, helping out with people who don't really understand technology as much and trying to help them so that I can help other people as well without doing too much. And it was a really nice experience for me because I got the opportunity to talk to different people and understand different people's problems so that I can see like a rhythm or a pattern to help other people individually and in a group. And it was a really nice experience for me because I was able to learn a little bit more about um, different sections of, um, let's see, technology, e economic statuses, and different attributes of things you can learn as far as, you know, that type of stuff. But it was... A really nice uh, experience for me to get to know a lot of people that I probably didn't think I would get to meet. I was able to see a lot of different things that uh, a lot, most people wouldn't be able to see or probably understand, and it was it was pretty good for me to to get that experience in to better my life in the future, so that I can help myself and you know my life ahead of me. And just in case one day I want to start my own business, I have the different um, tools that I need to be successful in my life, and I really appreciate. It the people allow me to come here and, and learn like that. And I don't know how, the biggest way to say thank you, but I would like to come here as much as I can and get, get some more experience so I can better myself and other people around me. And yeah. Are you positioning yourself for next year already? All right, Tiandre. And you see that I like this real subtle pitch for employment next summer, Roger. I mean, that, that's good, man. Very good. Very good. One of our new employer partners this year is Hilliard Lions, and that's thanks to the leadership of Alex Rourke, who's with us here today. I, I met their summer work uh, team a few weeks ago, and they were working on some very interesting uh, finance projects, one in particular that was going to help the future of our city. And one of these young people is Alana Carr, who's pursuing an economics degree at UofL. Let's hear from her. Um, I applied for summer works because I was considering changing my major from um, accounting to economics. And once I was able to obtain this internship in the public finance department at Hilliard Lions, I was able to have a lot of experiences that uh, reassured me of my decision and helped um, guide me to make a career choice. And so we were able to um, do debt summaries services for um, local entities in Louisville, like Jefferson County Public Schools. Um, I was able to attend client meetings. I was able to um, um, work on files that helped me understand what went into bond sales. And um, I was able to have these experiences that aligned with my economics degree um, directly and the studies that I would continue to do at the University of Louisville. And so um, with this experience, I was also able to obtain um, a permanent internship for the rest of um, my experience in, at the University of Louisville. So I am grateful for uh, my experience at the Summer Works program. All right, let's hear it for the full-time internship. <laughs> yes. Now, we also, so you've got, with Elena and Tiandre, you've got folks that worked in the private sector. We also have 237 youth working at nonprofit organizations and public agencies, which are life-changing opportunities. These opportunities are made possible by private funding and donations. So if you don't have a company and you want to help out, you can make a donation, and then we can put these folks where they might have interest. So for instance, many of the jobs went to young people that uh, said, I've always wanted to work in a nonprofit, or I wanted to scr scratch this creative itch that I've had, but I don't know how to do that. So I'd like to introduce you to Grace Hotkowitz. Grace spent some quality time this summer working with young kids in art camp at the Speed Art Museum. Grace? Good morning. Um, I am Grace Hotquitz. I am going to be a senior at Atherton High School this year. Um, I got to work with the kids at the Speed Art Museum and I started at the Speed Art Museum the fall of 2017. Um, 
working as uh, a docent, I uh, started volunteering as a docent for the Speed Art Museum. And when my, uh, my coach told me that there was going to be an opportunity to work as a camp counselor, I knew I had to like, take that opportunity. That was gonna be awesome. Uh, because my long-term goal is to become a storyboard artist for Pixar Animation. And I th thought that working with children would give me the insight I needed to better write stories and uh, design for the age group I am targeting. Um, I, <laughs> I thought I knew about kids. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I, I went in expecting just to help out with art projects. I ended up being the den mother of every child that walked through the doors. <laughs> there were some kids who even asked their mothers if I could adopt them, um, which I thought was amazing. I, my mother's a preschool teacher, and I had no idea the stuff that she goes through every day until I started my job. But I learned so much about um, kids and working in a museum, ensuring the safety of artworks, um, enhancing the kids' understanding of art and art history. And um, I, I just had a great experience. I've decided that I want to major in graphic design so I can potentially work at the Speed someday <laughs> as a full-time employee in their graphic design department. Um, of course, a stepping stone to Pixar. <laughs> so um, thank you all very much. Thanks, Grace. All right, you see the power of a goal setting that goal and working toward it, so thank you so much. This year, five organizations received many grants that engage youth in projects designed to promote innovation and entrepreneurship. These are incredible projects. We've been able to do this now the last several years where you see these entrepreneur, entrepreneurial efforts flourish. These projects included bringing fresh produce to West Louisville, providing digital skills to young women of color, and building a new bicycle pump track at the Shawnee Park, which you should check out. It's a very cool. And these were great accomplishments and help participants build skills and confidence in what they can do, uh, to have a plan and execute that plan and then sell the plan as well. A big part of the success of SummerWorks is our partnership with JCPS. And I really think that's just getting started. Uh, Dr. Marty Polio, of course, is the superintendent at JCPS. We've seen unparalleled kind of passion and energy in a lot of areas, but one has been integrating our summer works program into the academies of Louisville. And I think that's going to take our, our numbers and our quality to a whole nother level. So Dr. Polio, please share some thoughts with us. Thank you and welcome. Who we got JCPS students here? Thank you for sharing your last day of summer. 7.40 a.m. tomorrow morning, you will be back in a classroom getting after it. Everybody excited about that? How about seniors? We got seniors here? Excellent, excellent. So it seems like just yesterday, the mayor and I were finishing up the school year at Simple Elementary as the teachers and students were, or the students were loading the bus. Teachers were crying and waving goodbye to the students, and students were crying. It was one of the best moments of the year, and here we are, uh, and I can't wait to be in schools tomorrow. So it is an exciting time. I appreciate students, you all spending your last day of summer with us to celebrate this great program, um, the summer works, and it's so important for us. Mayor Fisher talked about the Academies of Louisville work. Um, we will be up to 14 high schools uh, this coming year that will have the Academies of Louisville program within it. Um, and the sponsorship and the help of the mayor's office and Kentuckiana Works has been so important for us to have these pathways and business partners that are working closely with our students so that during the year they have exposure to real world opportunities in the job world and, and being on a career pathway. And then during the summertime, we can move that into an actual position and work that they are doing. Um, you heard the statistics about how many students are doing, how, how important it is to the success of the students and the community as a whole. 
The vast majority of the students uh, that are in Summer Works are JCPS students, so it's very important uh, for not only our community, but JCPS as well. And so, uh, very strong foundation, this work for Academies of Louisville. We want to continue that partnership and even grow that. Um, but a new um, program or initiative that you've probably heard about, that this is going to be so important, and students, I'm going to give you guys some homework here to do on the first day of school, and this is going to be very important, is our backpack of success skills. Tomorrow, when our students walk into school, we will have 101,000 students with a digital backpack. Um, and this will be their, their online backpack that will really uh, store evidence of their learning of success skills that they have throughout the year. So we're going to have an intense focus on math and reading, but also those other success skills that we know our business partners and our community want and parents want, and they know that kids have to have in order to be successful. And those are around collaboration, communication, um, persistence, innovation, um, and also being a, a, a good a globally and culturally competent citizen. And throughout this year, our students are going to collect evidence of their learning in their backpack. And then at the end of this year, any fifth grade, eighth grade, or 12th grader in JCPS is going to do a public defense of their readiness for the next transition. So that will total 21,000 students at the end of this year are going to have that, uh, that opportunity to defend their readiness in front of an authentic audience and use evidence of their learning. So this is where the Summer Works program clearly comes in as an opportunity to show evidence and demonstrate that learning. So seniors, I would expect at the end of this year, when you are doing your defense, and you will do it in April and May, that you will stand up and talk about your learning, the, the experience that you had with Summer Works and how it impacted those success skills. So I'm gonna challenge you. Today, think about evidence of your learning around those success skills. What could you take away from that that would show or demonstrate some of the opportunities that you had this summer? And tomorrow morning, when you go to school, you will log into your Google Classroom account. And I learned something this summer, that little thing at the top that it's called a waffle, and you're going to click on that. And then, it's gonna, and then when you drop down, it will have a backpack. Click on that, and you will be the first students in JCPS out of 101,000 on the very first day of school to put evidence of your learning from this summer in your backpack. So think about that today. Find that evidence from this summer, the work that you did. Make sure that you put that in your backpack and next seniors next summer, right before the summer and you graduate, you'll be using that evidence um, for your defense of your readiness for college and career. And what could be more important than that, that evidence? So as I wrap up, I want to thank uh, the mayor's office for this innovative work. Thank you, Kentuckiana Works, for your support um, of the Summer Works and JCPS. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Polio. Best wishes for a great, safe school year. I also want to thank our major Summer Works contributors whose donations sponsor, who, who's, who, whose donation sponsor jobs for youth in our community who need that opportunity the most. And those contributors include the James Graham Brown Foundation, the Paul, Diaz, Paul and Vicki Diaz Family Foundation, the Geens Foundation, David, jo David Jones Jr., Mary Gwen Wheeler, who are with us here today. Thank you guys very much and the J.P. Morgan Chase Foundation, which has been a core supporter, I mean a big time supporter of summer works and summer job initiatives nationwide, and they've been with us from day one. So Alex Dirksen is here with Chase to share a few words with us. Alex? If I'm uh, grinning ear to ear, it's because I'm uh, tremendously proud uh, of the young people uh, that we have with us uh, here today. <clears throat> I can remember uh, my junior year in high school working in concrete construction, um, being on top of a hot deck um, raking concrete. It was an incredibly valuable experience for me because I was so excited to get back into an air conditioned uh, classroom uh, and pursue my studies. So, as the mayor said, I'm Alex Dirksen with J.P. Morgan Chase Foundation. I lead our philanthropy uh, in Ohio and Kentucky. So this year marks the fourth consecutive year uh, that we've invested in the Summer Works program, uh, and we continue to be proud of the impact our investment is making um, in the young people that you see before you here today. 
We're particularly interested in making sure that all the young people in this community have the chance to reach their educational and employment potential. Research shows that both the Summer Works program and the other summer programs that we support across the country are leading young people to have better educational and employment uh, outcomes. Our firm has also invested in leading efforts around the country around career pathways so that young people can see how the things that they're learning in high school classrooms actually lead to good jobs. We're also thrilled to see the partnership between Jefferson County Public Schools, the, Academ the Academies of Louisville, um, and the Summer Works Program, and know that more great work is coming uh, with this partnership. We invest our philanthropic dollars to really create win-win scenarios, and our investment in Summer Works meets this criteria. It's creating a win for the kids, like those you see before us today, who are getting a great job experience while still early in their careers. It's also creating a win for employers who are getting a first look at talented, diverse young people who are eager to build a bright future. It's also a win for regional economies as these programs are building a talent development system for Louisville and cities like it across the country. Before I part, a quick thank you to Mayor Fisher for his leadership on this program. Um, a thank you also to Kentuckiana Works and in particular Michael Gritton and Chris Locke and thanks to the many employers who have committed to these young people and to the future of Louisville. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have uh, just a couple more speakers, but before we do that, if our students that did not speak, if you all could just come up and say your name and where you work this summer, uh, we'd appreciate that. Let's start over here, so just come on up. Uh, my name is Anaya. I work with STEM Exchange um, with arts. Hello, my name is Anjali Chada. Um, I was actually an employer this summer. I have a nonprofit called Empowered. And she's a senior at Manuel High School. Okay. Hi, my name is Janae Wood. I work at KMAC. Hi, my name is Darius. I worked at the mayor's office. Hello, my name is Jalate Smith. I work with uh, Metro Parks and Recreation at Baxter Community Center. Hi, I am Patrick Mallon. I have worked with the Youth Community Agriculture Program. Oxmoor Farms was once a dairy farm and Iroquois Farms was once the site of Iroquois Homes. Anybody else? Okay, thank you all so much. Appreciate you all being here. I want to also recognize the support provided by our Metro Council. Uh, we work together with them as a team to make a lot of things happen in our community, and we put some core funding into the Summer Works Initiative to make it possible. Councilwoman, we're just seeing it flourish every year. That's great. Please welcome District 4 Councilwoman Barbara Sexton Smith. You know, together we really do create a great connected community where everybody has an opportunity to feel safe and healthy, educated and free. And when I say free, I mean free from poverty and free from oppression. So Mayor, as I want to look before all these people today, and we're going to extend a heartfelt thank and a rounding sound of applause for your leadership. Thank you, Mayor Fisher. You know, as you listen to the great stories and you see all the smiles up here, what you're looking at, I think, are solution seekers. And the world is full of problem promoters. So I'd like to surround myself with folks who are looking for opportunity and seizing that opportunity. That's what these students are doing. And that's right. Because there's a problem around every corner. But you can always tell a great leader by what he or she will do in face of a problem, whether you're two years old, 12 years old, 17, 20, and yes, 60 going on 70. That was for me, Mayor, not you. 
You know, you gotta always get up every day and say, what can I do to be helpful? Thank goodness for all these young folks behind us and for all these companies and all these contributors. And maybe most importantly, thank you, the taxpaying citizens, for your contributions and investments, yes, through your hard-earned money that you pay that comes in through taxes to local government so we can create programs like Summer Works. And you know, as I think about Summer Works, for me, it really represents a crime prevention program because we hear a lot of conversation all across America about the pipeline to prison. Well, I don't think you can really have any conversation without talking about what are we doing, what does this program or any other program have to do with working toward ending that pipeline. This has everything to do with it. So there are two parallel paths in Jefferson County right now that are worth mentioning and making note of. One, more students are working in the summer than ever before. Is that true? Yes, it is more than ever before, more companies than ever before are hiring young folks in the summer and will continue to do that in the winter. A parallel path that we must recognize, what about the crime statistics? They are absolutely phenomenal in our community right now. I would be remiss as your councilwoman in District 4 standing right here in the heart of LMPD's First Division if I did not share with you that the homicide rate has gone down 67% in the first division. LMPD's fourth division, which borders, it's contiguous, right here going through Smoketown, Shelby Park, leading out toward the University of Louisville and Churchill Downs. The homicide rate there is down 33%. And yes. And one last statistic, so what about Far West, LMPD, 2nd Division? I met with Commander Ryan Bates last week, and his command staff and his team of beat officers are turning in a 52% reduction in homicides in the 2nd Division. This is no mistake. This happens because of a well-thought-out strategy that's very connected to the government, businesses, nonprofit, and yes, to these amazing students behind us who says, I'm going to be a solution seeker. I'm going to make a difference. We owe them a debt of gratitude. So ladies and gentlemen, I do believe together we really can create a great connected community. And the only blaming you're going to see or finger pointing you're going to see from this group is the fingers that point at you that says, we need you to join us Come on down. Thank you very much. And Mayor Fisher, thank you. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. Uh, Michael Gritton and his team at Kentucky Anna Works really took this challenge on. Uh, it was one of the first things that we started seven years ago. Uh, our dream, all of us want our youth to have a great summer job experience. And that leads to so many wonderful things that we're seeing in our community. But they had to scale this program significantly from 200 the first summer to 6,200 this summer. That requires lots of hiring, lots of training, lots of back office work as well. Paul Diaz volunteered when he retired as Kindred CEO to come and help us kind of think about how we can scale this because we want to keep going. We want to go to 8,000. We want to go to 10,000. So I want to thank Paul Diaz, who's out of town, for the work that he's done by stepping up as a great citizen soldier for us as well. Uh, Michael, you and your team, the team at Youth Build has been great. Lynn, thank you very much. Uh, if you're part of the Summer Works team, would you all please raise your hand here so we can recognize you guys. Thank you all. Yes, I mean, it's a great, it's a cool position. You, you guys bring dreams alive all year long, especially with our Summer Works program. I appreciate that. Michael, you've been leading us with Kentucky Anna Works. Why don't you come up here and close this on out? Michael Gritton. I'll make this fast because we've had a lot of speakers. I want to acknowledge Chris Locke, who is the program director for us, who is new. And I want to recognize Natalie on the Youth Build team, who is also new. It's a team sport, starts with leadership, 
starts with corporate leaders like Humana and JP Morgan Chase and Hilliard Lyons and others, starts with funders who are in the room, everybody sharing the same vision, Metro Council being cheerleaders with us and investing in the program. And the only key thing I want to tell you is even though we're super proud of the success and love seeing these smiling faces behind us, we're building something even better for 2019 and beyond. The work we're doing with Dr. Polio, what is always cool for me is he doesn't need talking points and neither do I on this because both of these strands are coming together. The more employers are partnering with individual high schools, the more we're going to be asking those companies as part of that partnership to employ kids in the summer. So that over time, when Humana is looking for kids to work in their IT department, they're going to be partnering with a specific high school that has an IT program and that connection will be direct easy and make all of our jobs easier. So as always, we're indebted to the mayor for his leadership. We are indebted to the business community for stepping up and helping us do this program. We really love the team spirit of this and next year we hope it'll even be bigger and better. So thank you for being here. Right. All right. Well, as you can see, we're already planning for next year. So please spread the word for any employers you know that have not hired a summer uh, works youth and let's just make this to where we're the best in the country. I think Boston is the best right now. We've studied their program. We think we're in the top three or so. Uh, so we've got a lot of work that we can still do and I guarantee you we will get after it. So thanks everybody for coming out today.